I'm Joshua Bardwell, wireless engineer with Connect802. In this video series, we're going to go over all of the major features of the Ruckus Zone Director, just give you a little tour through the interface and look at basically what it can do. If you've just purchased a Ruckus Zone Director, this video series can give you a good introduction to what it's got. And if you're thinking about purchasing a Zone Director, this can help you decide if it's got what you need. When you purchase a Ruckus Zone Director, you'll also purchase a support entitlement with it and that'll give you access to the Ruckus support website and Ruckus phone support. In this video, I'll show you how to apply that support entitlement on your zone director, and the main thing that'll let you do is upgrade to the latest firmware. Even if you somehow happen to have the firmware file, the zone director won't let you upgrade unless you have an active support entitlement. The other thing we'll go over in this video is how to install your access point license. Most zone directors come with a five AP license standard, which means that no more than five access points can be operating on the zone director, at any given time. If you have more than five access points, then you'll need to install the license and that'll allow as many access points as your license for to be active at the same time. You can see at the top of the screen, the zone director is telling us a support upgrade entitlement does not appear to have been purchased for this zone director. A support entitlement lets you install new firmware and it comes with the support that you bought when you got your new zone director. If you've had your zone director long enough that your support has run out, you may see this message again, and that means it's time to call Connect802 and talk about getting a new support contract established. The next thing you're going to want to do when you get your new zone director is apply your support entitlement upgrade and update the firmware to the latest stable release. And you're also going to want to apply any AP licenses that you purchased. The zone director here has come with five AP license standard, and if you've got more than five APs, you should have purchased more licenses to get your APs online. This is the email that you'll receive when you purchase a support entitlement upgrade. If you have a new zone director and you haven't received this email, chances are it's someone else in your organization whose email got associated with the sale and you'll wanna just reach out to Ruckus Technical Support. They can help get you sorted out. This email contains the information that you'll need to activate your support via the Ruckus Support site. If you don't have a Ruckus support account yet, go ahead and use the link in step one to sign up for a Ruckus support account. And you'll wanna do this even if you're not necessarily gonna be the primary support contact for sales, for example, for your zone director. Anytime you might need to look up documentation or anything else about the Ruckus zone director, you'll refer to the Ruckus support site. So here I'm gonna to go to support.ruckuswireless.com. And of course, I've already got an account set up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and log in using my credentials. And this is what the screen will look like after you've logged in. And you can see over in the upper right, the link to activate your purchase. So let's click that link and we'll be presented with this page where we'll be asked to enter the activation code, which we can get from that email that I showed you earlier. Here in the email, you can get the activation code, which I've blurred out for obvious reasons. And you can actually manually copy and paste that activation code, or you can just click it and it will bring you to the Ruckus support site and automatically enter it into the dialog box. Once the support contract has been entered, you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, which will look like this. Click the Accept button and click the Activate Purchase button, and that will apply the purchase to your account. You'll see now the message, you are not done, please apply your support purchase to the asset serial number. Click a link below. What's happened is that you have told the Ruckus support site that you purchased the contract. Now you need to tell your zone director that you purchased the contract. And we'll go over that step a little later in the video. The steps for applying the AP license upgrade are basically the same. Go to the license activation email, click the link, be taken to the support site, activate the purchase. And just like before, we can see in the upper left, please apply your license to an asset. This is telling us that the Ruckus support site is now aware of our license, but we still need to tell our zone director about the license. And I'm gonna do that by clicking download license here, and that'll download a license file to my local hard drive, which I can then upload to the zone director and apply. The file is uploaded to the zone director under the administer tab, license, choose file, and then just go find the license upgrade wherever it downloaded on your hard drive, select it, and click upgrade license. When you're done, you should see that the zone director is now licensed for the appropriate number of additional access points. That takes care of the access point upgrade, but what about the support entitlement? You can manage that under administer support. 
and there's two options. You can manually upload a file, or you can just click the Check Entitlement button. The Check Entitlement button will work as long as you have internet access, which in this case I don't. In that case, you'll need to manually upload the entitlement file, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Here I've logged into the Ruckus support site, and if I scroll down on the right under Tools, Support Contract Self-Service, I find the option Support Service Missing or Expiring. If I click that option, I'm taken to a page where I can input my Zone Director's serial number, which you can get from the dashboard of the Zone Director. That's the first page you see after you log in. If you just enter your serial number there, you'll be taken to a page where you can download an entitlement file and then upload the entitlement file to the Zone Director as shown previously. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Whatever your wireless needs, from indoor office Wi-Fi to outdoor 60 gigahertz point-to-point -point microwave, 400 megahertz spectrum analysis services, wireless network design, survey of existing buildings, troubleshooting of wireless networks that are not working up to spec. Whatever it is you need related to wireless, Connect Data 2 is your resource for commercial wireless data networking. With 20 years in the wireless networking business and over a billion square feet of area design, chances are that whatever your wireless needs, not only can we do it, but we have done it. Please give us a call or an email today.